Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with... Say it, no, that you have this, that you have... No, that you have talk this off. To help the werewolf? No, no werewolves to help. <clears throat> what kind of werewolf would I be helping? Ridiculous. I shall not. Vermentino, perhaps I not. have partnered up to purchase Belgard. And your family can apply for compensation. You'll get eternal rest, and your family will get a bonnet. She's always showing cosmos. My deepest regrets. That's enough. Look around. Dark secrets taints you from a fairy tale that she never knew. Wonderful to meet the subject of the Baron's new cycle. Such a ah, They say a great Enjoy thing the about you, Witcher, and whisper even The blacksmith's wife. She's always showing off their costumes. Watch it. Yes, sir. Ow! Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs. Yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter, who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <clears throat> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. You are free to sell it, of course. Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. I do bits of this quest off stream, yeah. It wasn't that long, though. Like five nice minutes of walking around with this guy. So long now. There aren't many side quests left. Can't pull one over on me, Witcher. I can see your kid. Thank you, Omni. Thanks for the ride, Oh shit, it's really far. Go, go.
Bell shit. What's after the Witcher 3? I don't know. I don't really have a game lined up. Get them while they're hot! Greetings. I hope your search goes well. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. What do you have on offer? Fuck is so heavy. What's all this shit? He doesn't even buy it. Farewell. Good luck. Oh. Repair tools are heavy. Oh no. Holy shit, they are. I should just start using them. To his own <laughs> cowardice. Excuse me. The beast of Montclair has struck again. Citizens. Yes, sir. Welcome, good sir, to Dupont and Sons' emporium of diverse merchandise. Satisfaction guaranteed. Show me what you got back there. Even these skulls, man. Setting my skulls, though. I'm carrying 12 smoking pipes. Carrying an entire casket with me. Two bags of grain, twenty eight pieces of ass. Oh, fuck, I saw the painting. Ah, whatever. Strange meat. What in the fuck? Different spoons? What's this even? Corks.
Alright, alright. Good enough. So long. Anything better in all Tucson. The North must be protected. Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair, the scar, ah, the frown. It's all perfect. Something you actually want from me? Or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size. With the finest Vista Toussaint Fords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Don't see why not. Long as it doesn't take long. It shan't. Never worry. With but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. A perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the western gate near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. I guess I'm doing this now. One more, and another two. Under Duke Raymond's rule, such troubles were simply unimaginable. Yes, my lord. Did you get this game to play? You can do whatever hey. you want, man. If you like long RPG games, might just be a good game for you. The light is inopportune at the moment. It should be pretty cheap too these days. It's pretty old. I'm here. Let us go. We should arrive in time to have the best light of the day. The chiaroscuro we shall capture. Just glorious. Let's go. The things I do for art. Oh we had best here. ride there. But we'll arrive faster and less fatigued. A work of mine, Witcher. Turtle Dove or the Heath, hangs in the Ducal Palace. So does a cockatrice I cut down once. It's stuffed, maybe even with heather. I only play in story mode, man. Death March is too hard for me. Cockatrice feather brush. Best thing for laying down tender. Oh. One, two, three. Ready or not, here I come. Nah, I no longer have it, sadly. My blasted cat swiped it. Why would a cat want a brush? To paint with, of course. 
And it was no common brush. Fantastic, as I said. And fantastically expensive. Hang on. Got a cat that paints? Yeah. If you care to call it that. He merely copies the works of his betters. And poorly at that. Your cat? Yes. Pierre Auguste Moustachois. What the fuck it's is no this? It's no surprise you've not heard of him. Shift. He's a second-rate hack. <laughs> Move it. Whoa there, Roach. We'll continue on foot. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, uh, forgive me for being forward, but have you perchance seen a set of paints and brushes nearby? Eugenie, I believe this peasant wants something from us. My paints, my brushes, I, I, I had prepared them. They, they were here. We've not seen any journeyman's tools, my good man. Of that I assure you. There a problem? Yes, an immense one. I cannot possibly paint without my paints. I'm done for, unless you would be kind enough to locate them. Wouldn't happen to have another set with you? And uh, nothing you could use instead? My word, would you really have me scrawl with charcoal like an animal? Ah, uh, damn it. Sure you left them here? Yes, right there. Da, da, da. I'd prepared everything. Like set it out. For the ten? Ordered and organized. Hmm. Might have toppled downhill or something. Fine. I'll take a look around. I think it is life that imitates art. And not vice versa. Right you are, Fingo. Take Baron de Cordel for one. Oh yes, that nose. He actually had a major margin after he saw that the Red Corral play. And now he's begun courting his cousin. Spilled paint. Reeks to high heavens of turpentine. Footprints. Smudged. Drops here, too. Ah, fuck, this is how my ear feels. of my collection.
Found your things. Splendid. Where were they? And... Hmm. Is this all you found? I left so much more. Should have kept it all with you, not left it lying around. Followed some paint tracks to a necker lair. Seems the beasts made off with your supplies. Used it to paint a fresco on one of the cave walls. Looked something like a battle scene to me. Ugh, impossible. They splashed paint on the wall in a rage. Unimportant. In any case, it's a good thing you found the basic colors. Shall we? While waiting, I spied a superior spot. We have had fantastic luck with the weather. The light is perfect, absolutely perfect. Painting this masterpiece gonna take long? A mere six hours. The sun won't allow us to work any longer than that. Oh, but the time will fly by. We'll chat, swap tales. Mm. Better yet, let me down a potion. Time will definitely fly by in a state of lethargy. No need to swap tales. No, no, no. Your expression, your posture, they must be just so. You must look alive with fire in your gaze. Lethargy is out of the question. <laughs> Come on, give it some thought. You could title the painting. That's like the first time I've heard Gale lying laugh. senselessly on the heath. You jest. <laughs> A jesting witcher. Slow now. This the place? Yes. Just look at the view. Breathtaking. The perfect background for our masterpiece. Mm, pretty, I guess. Now, you must carefully consider in what pose you wish to be immortalized. All right. Considering. All is ready. We may begin. Have you Man, decided my glasses. on the pose you'd like to adopt? Think I'll lie down. At least that way I can nap while you work. The hero at rest, lying on his side, propped up on an elbow, staring into the distance, relishing a victory. I can paint in a griffin corpse later. Though, naturally, a nap is out of the question. We resolved that earlier. May I begin? Or would you prefer to strike a more dynamic pose? <sighs> Go ahead. Now, be so kind as to adopt that look you gave me when I first asked you to work with me. That intense scowl of an angry wild ram about to butt heads. Not just his resting face? Yes, <laughs> excellent. Now, hold that. Do not budge. Da, da, da. Okay, Pixel 7. Toss a Twitch Prime to my streamer. Uh, this gonna take much longer. Not much, not much at all. We'll run out of daylight soon. Please, keep your head still, in the same position. Fine, I'll try. I'll also try to remember to never trust a painter again. Griffin! Yeah, I know. You'll paint one in later. Gods! A Griffin! <laughs> Run and hide! Dearest mummy!
things. Hitbox is insane, man. No, it died on the nine hits. Is it safe? Yeah, come on out. And no wonder no one ever came here. It was a griffin's hunting ground. Oh, that thing scared me to death. Not quite to death. You are alive. Not least because you chose a witcher to sit for you. How's the painting? It survived too? Uh, it did. But I cannot show it to you now. I never display unfinished work. You can see it tomorrow, after midday, where we met. I shall display it in the market square. Oof, monstrous beast. Shall we immortalize it in the painting? Yeah, let's add it. Carcass can serve as your prop. Splendid! Hmm. Interesting color palette. And the textures, and the proportions. It will do. Yes, it will do. But I shall paint it in later, in my atelier. There's an excellent illustration in the Encyclopedia Maxima Mundi. I fear this specimen is, well, too far cut and chopped. Ah, very well. That will do for now. I shall polish the details later. No point struggling on in this fading light. Ah, I almost forgot. Payment for your troubles. And be I thank 800. you for saving my life. Though in doing so, you did One also sword. save your likeness. Ah, for posterity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy shit! Any tidings? None yet. Rest assured, though, it'll all work out. Boy, oh, is my bastard ready to blow. Jesus, you're so tanky.
equipped all my shit. Done. It's kind of nice. These spiders uh, take like 12 hits to kill. So I almost Any always get a damage bonus. All taken care of. Went inside and cleaned up. Thank the gods. And you too, of course. So long. Next. Wait one day to see your painting. Come evening, I'm off to the bells. Quick as a flash. Here it's wine, wine, and more wine. But me, I prefer that. The Duchess Let's behave, Fred. You're in Vauclair's. Oh, it's awesome. Greetings. Geralt, there you are. So, our painting. Are you pleased? Is it to your liking? Do tell. <laughs> it's nice. Shows a lot of uh, imagination. Don't recall undressing before posing, though. Some of the other details are a bit off, too. Well... The imagination is an artist's chief, too. Heard the same from a certain poet. He embellishes and invents chiefly. Perhaps you'd care to buy the painting. Given our rapport, I shall take a loss. For you, I'll part with it, I will, at a special price. One thousand? Why not? It'll make an interesting memento, though I'd hardly call the price a bargain. <laughs> Indeed, few have the sophistication to appreciate my technique. I sometimes go hungry as a consequence. Mm, all right. At least this way I'll be able to control who sees it. Thanks. My God.
not know how I will ever repay you, Witcher. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh, yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. <clears throat> Glad I got it short. Yes. Years of suffering. Do you know what was worse than the hunger? Watching my loved ones, my children grow old and die. All my family's long gone now. The last of my kin perished decades past. I fear I've nowhere to go. This is a big house, big estate. You can stay here. Truly? I could never infringe so on your hospitality. Yet... Yeah. After all I've suffered, the years of starvation, oh, I've new but cook. one dream. At last to prepare food that fortifies, nourishes, to delight in the tastes and smells of spices, to sit at one table with others and eat. Hmm. Don't see a problem if that's your dream. You could help Barnabas Basil in the kitchen. Eating his meals, you know he's not a culinary virtuoso. Nothing could make me happier. Thank you. No, thank you. House could use a woman's touch. I've one other thing I'd like to tell you. Many years ago, my father assembled valuables for my diary. I never wet, so they remained unclaimed. These baubles are no use to me now. But to you, well... Perhaps let them be a token of my gratitude. If you wish to find them, you okay, must go Chagas, to my old home, to Trastamara. The dowry lies hidden in a barrel in the cellar. There are several barrels. You must give each a knock until you find the right one. Do just that. Thanks. I'd never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home as I brood as a white? <laughs> Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking, even as a child. My gran was a true master in the kitchen. Her spit-roasted oaks was famed throughout the land. Thought you were a lady, owned an estate. Do you mean to say a woman of my rank should have had a cook? You're right, of course. And I had the best of cooks, but I devised the dishes myself. They only prepared them. You sure you don't feel lonely out here? I cannot say yet. Too little time has passed since you freed me of my thrall, but somehow, for now at least, I do not feel drawn to the city, to others. Visited others' homes as a white? Yes, but ever at night. When all were asleep, I went in search of spoons. Remember, you can always change your mind. Decide you've lived here long enough, just say the word. I'd never wish to seem ungrateful. And I'd never want you to stay against your will. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. Feels good, man. A pleasure to welcome you once again to the as yet humble confines of Corfo Bianco. When last we met, I did not get the opportunity to present my credentials. With your permission, I shall do so now. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm <clears throat> in good hands. Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might 
dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. It's in your hands then. Make the place shine. Nice key. Oh I shall get to God. work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Is there anything... anything else you require, sir? Can I put this guy to work? That's all for now, BB. Thanks. Yeah, 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 man. Poor ah! Gal is poor even after years of hunting monsters. Always spends everything on hoopers. What is this place? Where, where did the woman sent me to? What is this? Coins. You know that's that's like that's like one bandit kill. One single bandit. What was that thing anyway? It was called Gold Stick of Joy. Right, main quest time. Da, da, da. Main of what are you gonna play after this? And please add a mod ban with channel rewards. A mod ban? What the fuck? I don't know what I'm playing after this. 
probably Dota or something. Who knows? I'm wondering if I have a game lined up. <clears throat> Dota is the def default game at least if I have nothing to play. But yeah, board streams, I guess. And, um. Not really something I want to spend time on. Where to storm Duntide? Expect armed resistance. The strength of the fortifications remains unknown. Your foes have committed suicide. Geralt, good you're here. Ready to attack Duntine? See you already prepared a plan. Walk me through it. We have two objectives. To find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep. Restored not long past by the elderly knight of the castle, Roderick. We mean to strike here, through the main gate. Then secure the area in front of the keep by storm. How many men defend Untyne, you know? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. They are no army, but they could number several dozen. Also, Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. About them, we know very little. Sintrian's men, gotta be. Ran into a few in town. They tried to kill me. Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders, keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way, find the women, make sure they come to no harm. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk. But I sense you will handle it well. Let us go. So it begins. Quick! We grab Roderick's horses and we bolt. We won't vault far if the boys out front don't hold. Not so fast. Little change of plans. What? That job would have killed me. Any last words? <clears throat> Alive? Jesus. The pole arms have such weird attack animations. Let him. 
I see no ducals along the road. Da, da, da. They must not be guarding it. Bloody bots! So what was Look that? Those crates on the way. Hurry with those crates! Trying to escape. But be careful! If you <clears throat> drop any. I've played Metal Gear, but I don't know if I played on stream. I don't remember. I did finish the game though. That's almost the lot. We shall be ready to go soon. Where are the horses? You go and Belen were to fetch them. Girl, Someone's see here. Take they them. breached the back wall. Come on, kill him! I'm a hard nut to crack. Damn company. Cynthians <laughs> men, where are they? Have you played uh, Kingdoms of Amalur yeah, Reckoning uh, Master? I played that game. I didn't like it that much though. Shouldn't have the combat was a bit floaty on that one. Where's the hostage? The woman. What? what? What do you mean? I know nothing about a hostage. Must must be the handiwork of my guests. Where are they now? In... in the keep. Ready in their escape. There's someone with them? A woman named Siana? Of... of course. She... she convinced me to let them in. And a whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack... packing. We were to leave together. An old fool. I'd have done anything for her. Where is she? In the keep too? It, yes. Her chamber is in the tower. The top floor. What? What will become of me? Leaving you to the ducal guard, if you don't bleed to death in the meantime. Chewie, a pox upon you! Come on! Come on! Kill the shit like what the fuck is this one? Huge or what? Jesus! Look, Shrek! And there goes on dying. Oh my god. You will die, you little stronza! How about Kingdom Come Out? Kingdom Come for the four. Kingdom Come. Deliverance? I already played that one. And finish. You will die! Doesn't stagger at all. You will die, you little stronza. I will dare you to shred. <laughs> <coughs>
Giving you one last chance. Yield. And Harlot got us into this. Kill him! Attack! Where did they even... I get a new thing, but I need more green. Well, I can make them probably. I'm in combat for everything. Who's attacking me? You could use our help. <clears throat> so, Witcher, this is no time to explain. Where is Rena? Expect to answer a lot of questions inside. Let us go then. I don't think Geralt is Hawkeye in this. I think Geralt is more like Captain America that shows up with a shield in an alien fight. I'd never let them hurt me. I just waited for you to come. I... I didn't know where to look. They threatened to kill you. I... Forgive me. I failed you. <clears throat> now we need only find Anna Henrietta's sister. Where should we look? Do you know? Mm-hmm. Ran into Roderick, Duntine's lord. Told me where I'd find Sienna. Then speak and let's grab her. Time is short. Said she was in a room in the tower. Very one we're in right now. Which, incidentally, looks nothing like a prison cell. And just so happens there's a carafe full of wine here. Bet it's stolen Saint Real. What's your point? Stop playing dumb. I know everything. Your plan, that this was part of it. Witcher, what is this? Sorry, Dedlaf. You've been had. My friend, please. You must listen to what Geralt has to say. Never was any abduction. She faked it to be able to control you, manipulate you. You lie. He seeks to turn us against each other. Let... let him speak. Blackmailers? Pure fiction. She planned everything. You killed all those men at her behest. That... is impossible. Sorry, Dedloff. She used you. Part of her plan. Women.
Oh. You will come to Teshamudna and explain all. If you do not, I will raise Beauclair to the ground. This I promise you. You've three days. I shall be waiting. Oh, that's cool. He just fly off. He did not wish to act rashly. He's gone to soothe his nerves. Think he'll do it. Make good on his threat. I cannot say. He can be unpredictable when fury consumes him. I shall go to him. Come again? After what he just... You don't know <laughs> death laugh like I do. If Master I don't do so as he happy says, to see you play with you truly will How destroy do you like us. Going from Daikin for the 13? He's I'm loving it. It's nice. It. Every point has to be enjoyable so far. Conscience gets to you now. Better. <sighs> Better <laughs> late than never, right? Uh, this woman. Well, it truly does seem the best option. He's fucking lying. Your Grace, look at her. We must proceed with caution. Guardsmen saw vampires here. They could still be about. Vampires or no vampires, my sister is here. Find her. Your Grace, that. Sianna, it's true. It's you. Sister, dear, what have you gotten yourself into? So concerned, I'm surprised. Is there an ounce of truth to it? You... You feel resentment. I understand. But I promise. Promise we shall work through all the unfortunate matters of the past. We will discuss them later. Captain, escort Siana to the palace. I shall meet with her as soon as we return. As you wish, Your Grace. <clears throat> and you, Witcher. You have my thanks. I cannot believe my sister was so near the whole time. Roderick of Duntine shall answer for treason and blackmail. Roderick got duped and used, just like the vampire. Apropos, were you able to establish who kidnapped his beloved? We've discovered Siana blackmailed the vampire. Ordered him to kill those men. What? What nonsense is this? She is his missing lover. Staged her own abduction to force him to do her bidding. He was a tool. Whole scheme was Siana's. She was behind it. You're mistaken. You must be. This cannot be true. Your Grace, I know this vampire and... What? You know him? Who is he? Detlaf. The same who so recently sat at my table and told me of Nazar. How does he just tell her? Is there anything else you've neglected to mention? A dragon living beneath Mount Gorgon, perhaps? <laughs> is anyone else here a vampire? Where is he now? Waiting for Siana. He didn't tell her. If she doesn't show up to meet him by an appointed time, he'll destroy Beauclair. He dares threaten us? Your Grace, we have three days to bring him Siana and... Not a word. You have three days to bring me his head. No more secrets. No more helping vampires. I want what I'm paying for. The head of the beast. I think Geralt needs another reminder for her that vampires cannot be killed. Unless it's another vampire doing it. I think her grace's nerves have been calmed. Doubt it. Rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially not threats. Yes, well, even I must admit Deadlaugh's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Are you upset? Why would I be? Hmm, let's see. 
You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. What can I say? It happens at times. Especially likely to when the monster I'm chasing can turn into fog. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? <sighs> Depends. Peasants cuss me out. Merchants demand I refund their deposit, whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. And rumors? Usually threaten me with the gallows. Da, da, da. A most illustrious Happy grace day. awaits the gentleman. Get Antonio for the 34. Your grace, the population demands she be punished. Sion has committed terrible crimes. Spilt so much blood. They... Another word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. What is wrong with this Yours. Woman? I repeat for the last time, Siana is responsible for the death of many, true, but she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, Kill I both. the masses might rise. Storm the prison, pitchforks and torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but... My patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? We're working to find that out, Your Grace. Do you take me for a fool? I... wouldn't dare. I care not one whit what you have worked on, are working on, or shall work on. I'm interested in results, which thus far have been nil. Ah. At times, I hunt foxes. Do you know how it works? The Ducal Huntsman releases the comparing a literal the hounds, demigod to a fox? catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the Bachu to it. All within an hour. You, Witcher, have had a week. The aid of my most excellent knights. Yet, you have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. Maybe <laughs> I wanted to say this in real life. Then perhaps your grace should have sent a beagle instead of a witcher after the vampire. You tread on thin ice, Witcher. Very thin. Wisdom demands you choose your words more cautiously. But to the matter at hand. Have you managed to establish anything? Your Grace, it seems Siana tricked Detlaf, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... Your Grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! Vampires! Oh, they've attacked the city! Captain de la Tour defends the square near the boat landing, but so many lives lost! Damn it. And then the beagles! If it's war this Detlef wants, it's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer and you... Tits! Get her out of here.
vampire or no? <laughs> we barely use this. We won't fight vampires very often. What the hell just happened? What the fuck? It's blocking me. Looted but forgot scene ended. Siana failed to appear as summoned. And there. Detloff was not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detloff out. A way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I put it? Do forgive me, and I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis, another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detloff out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detloff's demand and liberate his beloved Siana. Think Detloff still believes Siana's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. And he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Dedloff? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Dedloff is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but <clears throat> meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Mm. So say I agree to this. Because I might. Still no chance Anna Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. Hmm. Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog, keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see? I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. The meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour, ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme that... Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. I trust I've dispelled your doubts then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. How would I go about luring Detloff out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen, ancient and powerful vampires. Among the oldest and strongest. Mm -hmm. And he just lives Tusa nearby. Is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detlaf will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is a. Yeah, figured it out. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the Unseen Elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. 
<clears throat> hmm. So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer, or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf, there's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis, don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf, who'll you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? My chat keeps saying one and saying the Siana path is better than the other one. I'm going for two. Sorry, Regis, but folk have died. Got no time to lose. Especially not on some kind of peculiar therapy for bizarre couples. I see. Alas, you know what to do. You must see Oriana, ask her to introduce you to the Unseen Elder. She might agree. What'll you do? Now? Whatever I can to limit the number of human victims to a minimum. Should you learn where the Elder dwells, do whisper a word to the Ravens. I'll come and help. Even though that could mean you'll fight Detlaf? Even though. Good luck, Geralt. Sensing smug. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm playing Castlevania here, man. Time for balance. An extra ability slot?
<laughs> okay. Alright. Oh man, I have way too many of these. Damage number. Oh no. Don't miss a stranger. Character. Oh. Inventory and see. That's decent damage. Damage. Need to look around. Armor proved useless. Claws sliced through steel like through butter. They broke formation, ran. I'll save him. Art, you cannot attack this target? Barricade put up in the street. <laughs> it's like they saw me and they decided to run here. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! Um Got it. How did 
his matrix is Valak? How can you back off on your corner? What? Just trip and die? Anti-vampire garlic. Oh my god, they actually showed up with anti-vampire garlic. Why is my chat in remote mode only? Come on, man. It's not needed. 